Hey there. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Do you work the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. What can you tell me about Whiterun? Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Thanks for the information. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Preventius Avenici? I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. I have a sword for you, from your daughter. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins, for services rendered. So, why is this keep called Dragon's Reach? That is an old tale, but well known to those of us who serve in the keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor, with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex. And so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. What's the city's history? Ah, splendid. Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with your Vasker, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around your Vasker, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the holds. I'm sure you're very proud. Thank you for the information. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons... Look, you've already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Hmm. She cannot hide from us forever. Hmm? Did you know some Alakir warriors are looking for a Redguard woman? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. 
I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll... I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Relax, I'm not going to hurt you. Then I need your help, and there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. Maybe. What do you want? I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. How am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. Any suggestions as to how I find them? I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Why are the Alakir after you? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Why haven't you gone to the guards for help? You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless. Cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. I'll look into things and see what can be done. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. What are you looking at? I need to find Kamatu. Tell me where he's hiding. You have a death wish, then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. What is it that you need? I have dishonored my brothers by being captured. And so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that. And I'll tell you what you want to know. How much to pay your fine? One hundred gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Why did they leave you here? Because I was clumsy enough to be captured. Kamatu always says, we're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. Be right back. All right, then. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. I want to pay that prisoner's fine. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. Let's talk about how we can help each other. You buy my way out of here. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Your fine's been paid. Now tell me about Kamatu. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard! My fine's been paid, now set me free! Sorry, my ears aren't so good. Say something? I said my fine has been paid. Now let me out. Right, right. Oh, look at that. I seem to have lost my keys. Might take me a while to find them. 
You just sit tight. I'll get around to it eventually. Curse you! This ought to be interesting. I'm not sure I like these Alakir warriors hiding out here. They seem like trouble. Keep it to yourself. They're not paying us to talk. They'll be gone as soon as they've found whoever they're looking for. And we'll have all the more corn. Hmm. The roads will be safer with these bandits gone. Probably the place. Alakir, hold! You've proven your strength, warrior. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. Stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here. And you have proven your skill in combat. Let us talk a moment. And no one else needs to die. I think we can all profit from the situation in which we find ourselves. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapons. I've been sent here to kill you. Of course, said Pai. What is it that she's calling herself these days? Shazra? Sadia? One of those, correct? Did she appeal to your sense of honor? Your greed? A more base need, perhaps? It doesn't matter. No doubt she's convinced you that she's the victim. But do you know why we pursue her? Sadia told me. You're assassins. Assassins? No, nothing so crass. Sadia, as you know her, is wanted by the noble houses of Tanith for treason. We were hired to see her return to Hammerfell for her crimes. You can help us with that. And make sure no one else gets hurt. What was her crime? She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell. And they want justice. So what do you want me to do? She trusts you, at least to some extent. She sent you after us, and has no reason to think that you'd do anything other than that. Convince her that we'll be coming for her, and she needs to leave. Lead her to the stables outside White Run. We'll be waiting to take her into custody. I'll gladly share a portion of the bounty in return for your efforts in seeing proper justice done. An army of mercenaries in a bandit hideout hunting one terrified woman. I think I'll side with the woman. I'd hoped we could work something out. That you would see reason. That we could avoid having to kill you. Very well then. If that's the way you want to play it, we will. Now you're mine. Over here!
safe now. Any news of the Alakir? The Alakir won't trouble you anymore. At last, I can rest safely. You have done me a great service, warrior. I cannot thank you enough. Take this reward. I managed to sneak some of my wealth out of Hammerfell when I left. It's the least I can do. For now, I will maintain my ruse here. You are always welcome in the Bannered Mare. Stay safe, Sadia. Mm -hmm. Hey. I ain't done nothing. Are you always drunk? Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey. In the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian Ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. Ha <laughs> I'll bring you that ale, old man. Argonian Ale. I can almost taste it. You're gonna have a good night tonight, aren't you? Well, that all depends on you now, does it? Don't go too far. Sure, whatever. I ain't done nothing. Here's that special ale you wanted. Well, would you look at that? Argonian ale. My thanks, friend. Here, take this here healing potion. I, uh, found it in the temple. They could probably use it there. Still feeling thirsty? Not anymore, thanks to you, friend. <laughs> Don't drink it all at once. Sure, whatever. It's a shame, isn't it? Tell me about this tree. This is the Gildergreen. It was planted as a seedling in the early years of Whiterun. Disciples of Kinnareth could sense something holy in it, and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. They built the temple. Of course, not as many pilgrims these days. What's so special about this tree? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Eldergleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. What kind of metal would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hagravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Huh. 
What is it? What has happened to the Gilder Green? I have traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Uh, I wish I had time to it. deal with it. Make but it it's stop. hard enough with all these wounded from the war. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. Pain is so great. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? I found Nettlebane for you. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course I'm glad you did. Now... I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? What needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. You're welcome to join me. I thank you for your kindness. that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. What is this place? You are an Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? And that tree? Is that Elder Gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Why not? As you can see, Eldrigleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her track. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleam herself would lift her roots for, more out of fear than respect. You mean this weapon? The rumors are true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. you were a man of violence. What exactly are your intentions in this blessed place? I need sap to fix the Gildegree. You would violate this marvel of Kinneret's glory to fix that half-breed stump in Whiterun? That's abominable. Barbaric! I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? Do you have a better idea? 
Well, yes. There is something. It won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. What did you have in mind? Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. The Elder Gleam has blessed us with a sapling. You should take it to Whiterun. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal, not a slavish maintenance. Thank you for your help. It was my pleasure, friend. In a way, I envy you getting to carry such a direct sign of Kinnereth's graces. Good luck on your travels. May Kinnereth's wind carry only the sweetest scents. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? I have a sapling. But I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gilder Gleam. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? Maurice said, Renewal is more important than maintenance. I... You're right, of course. It can be hard to hear the winds of Kinareth when all you hear are the rabble in the temple. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new Gilded Green that will tower over Whiterun. Thank you. Oh,